Hey traders, I'm going to teach you a quick simple technique that's going to help you understand what the market is doing. Let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. All right, I want to teach you a quick, simple technique that what the, how the markets react, move and move and uh, you know, how to actually understand what's actually happening right now in the markets. Now, as you know, there's different time for, there's different timelines in the markets. There's monthly, there's weekly, and there's daily. And you can use this analysis on any of those time frames. Um, and uh, and so obviously, the the smaller the time frame, the more of these highs and flows, peaks and troughs, highs and valleys, and peaks and valleys, and all sort of stuff, whatever you want to call it, uh, is going to form in the markets. Okay, it's going to form in the markets. So a real, real, real simple stuff. If you look for a Oh, excuse me. If you look at a, if you look at a, a, if you look at any trend in, in in the market, if we have a nice bullish trend in the markets, the market is generally moving up and then moving down, then moving up and then moving down and then moving up. So this is what we call an uptrend. All right, very 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 simple. But how do we know it's an uptrend? Is because if we actually have a look at the actual uh, the, if we have a look at that, we have these peaks are higher. And troughs are higher. Now I know that's simple, but when you actually start to look at, you actually start to look at the peaks and troughs. It's the peaks and troughs, especially on the daily chart. They're always telling you. There's always telling you a story. There's a story behind that as well too. So if I go back to, you know, if I go back to, and if there's a downtrend, we have lower peaks and lower troughs. Now it doesn't, it doesn't form exactly like that, but we always have these peaks are lower, and generally the troughs are lower. But the most important ones, the most important ones are the, if the market's going down, you want to see that the, the highs being lower, high, lower, high, or lower peak. They're the most, they're the most important ones. And the troughs, you want to make sure you're getting the major high troughs, major high troughs. Now, looking at that, you'll be able to see simple analysis on the trend. So if you're looking at the stock market, looking at the indexes, looking at silver, gold, and you're trying to see what's going on, just flip this over to a weekly chart, try to get the overall trend what's happening right now, and you'll be able to see real, real, real simple, and real easy about what's actually going on with the markets. You can see lower peaks, lower troughs, lower peaks, lower troughs. Now again, that's what's happening right now, and it's giving you a gauge of what's happening right now, and that's what you, that's what you wanna do. You wanna like, what's going on? So that's the simple. Now sometimes guys, the market's gonna go sideways, so it'll come down, it'll make a, a, a lower peak, then it'll make a high trough, it'll make a high peak, and then it'll make a lower trough, and then it'll make a uh, a lower peak, and then it'll make a a higher trough, and so on and so forth, right? You can see how this market is just going sideways. Whenever this happens, no one's in control. And I made the mistake of this at the start of this year, or for that two or three months when the Dow Jones was doing this, and I was actually calling for a crash. I should have I should have stood back and waited for the market to tell me what was going to happen, and then went with that. So, but I didn't, and I obviously got um, I got publicly, you know, humble pie all over my face. Now, thankfully, thank thank God I didn't lose a lot of money because uh, because I had good money management, good trade management. But the thing is, is that this is a simple technique you can suit, you can use. But remember, guys, the story, the market is always telling you a story. If the market if if the market runs down like this, makes low trough, low trough, and it comes down and it runs up like there, what's this here? This is what this is now a higher peak, right? It's like we have a peak, we have a we have a peak, low peak, low peak, and now it's giving us a higher peak. Oh, so now it's see now the story's changing. Instead of it being a selling story, it's like hang on a minute, this could possibly be a buying story, I meaning the bullish story. And what do we need? We need for an uptrend, we need higher peaks and higher troughs. So if the market starts forming up through here, then this higher trough, there's like oh, there's now more bullies, there's more buyers. Then sellers, and there's other two things that's going to happen here. One, it's going to keep running up and create more, more, more high troughs and more, more another higher peak and another high trough. Or what it could do also, and this is the reason why you need to bend, flex, and mold with the markets. So, or the market could actually 
it, it could actually it could go from here it could rally up and then start to create a lower peak rally back down now what do you think this is now this is now a lower peak right so if you're in a short-term trade and you saw this sort of action and now you got this lower peak would you stay in it well now the odds are against you even more so this is where you cut your loss your short and get out of it right especially if the market actually starts to go down through here now and the market runs up through there what ha what do we got what do we got here now this is now a lower trough so guys this is the peaks and trough story of how to actually really read the charts and this is the reason why the it takes a lot longer on the monthly and weekly charts and that, that's going to give the overall major the overall major peaks and troughs but looking at the daily chart there's always a story telling you what's happening within the small little peaks and troughs and that's how you can flow along with it so guys Try to study these peaks and troughs. You see me look at these peaks and troughs on the market updates. Whenever I'm looking at the markets, monthly, weekly, and daily, I am always looking at the uh, the peaks and troughs to see what is really, really going on. So guys, this is peaks and troughs. Study and analyze it, and this will really, really, really help you with what's going on in the market at any time in the in the in any time in history. I'm not going to BS you here. Trading is hard. Over my 10 years of trading, I've learned some amazing systems and strategies, and I've put it all in my brand new Grab the Markets by the Balls course, and I'm giving you 100% free access. This whole course is 12 videos long and almost 10 hours of the best systems and strategies that I know. Click on the image below now to get 100% free access right now.